elections is about competition, it's about information campaign. What political parties are supposed to do is to inform the electorates about the caliber and character and competence of their leaders. One, the issues that are of significant importance to the campaign this year, and not just that, they should move forward to tell us their position on those issues. What do they think about those issues? The approach to formulating and implementing those issues. And I think this is very important than insulting people or attacking the integrity of other people. Because when you attack the integrity of another person who is not in your campaign, it may energize some few elements within your campaign team or your party who are hawkish in orientation. But that does not translate into votes from discerning rational floating voters who are not part of your support base. And it is evident since the beginning of the fall for public that no political party has ever won elections, the NDC or the MPP, by just having votes from their core support base. That can lead you to at best maybe 44, 45% of the vote. You need the other percentage from the floating rational voters. And we don't call them rational voters for nothing. They are discerning. And they look at the, the issues at hand, your position on those issues, the caliber and character of people you put in leadership positions to govern this country. And then they vote based on those things. So if you do not discuss those issues and insult people, it doesn't convince the floating voters to come to your, to your side. And you cannot win elections without them. So what political parties should do is not to so much endanger our democracy and, and invite negative tag to the image of their party in terms of branding by being insultive and by using abusive languages.